What's crack -a It's your boy Broshmo, just in case you did not know. So we're going over the Jacksonville Jaguars. I almost said Carolina Panthers. Man, these cats, they got me all messed up. But before we get into that, go ahead, become a bro and subscribe. And hit that thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Even if you didn't, just support the channel, please. Please. <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, but really do. But um, yeah, man, we got draft content all over the channel if you're into that. Um, more content always on the way. We are in the thick of uh, of the off season for um, NF for the for football. No lie, it's kind of my favorite time of the year for the NFL, just because so much, so many things change, and it's just so fun, especially the draft. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Uh, oh my gosh, the Jaguars! They have negative two million cap. Uh, I really didn't want to do this one. <laughs> This is kind of tough. So, this is me now. This is me. This isn't a prediction on, oh, what this is what I think the Jaguars are going to do. This is what I would do if I were in charge of the Jaguars. I would, this is, this is my plan. I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on from Nick Foles. I'm not going to release him, but I'm going to push, I'm going to push forward with Gardner Minshew as my starting quarterback. So, I'm going to get him more firepower. Um, I'm I'm hoping I kind of want to I, I want to address the offensive line because it wasn't that good last year. Uh, defense, I don't know. I'm kind of going on the basis that they might move to a three four, and I say that because from the coaching candidates, it looks like they're all kind of based three four guys like Wade Phillips and such. So I'm gonna go with I'm I'm gonna just go with we're going to a three four. And what we really need to address, the corners were atrocious last year without especially no Jalen Ramsey. So let's just go ahead. Let's get into who I released because that'll kind of narrow down what I'm doing because they need ca salary cap space. They don't got a ton. Marcel uh, Marcel Darius, man, he he was he cost too much. He's gone. AJ Boye, he had a down year. He cost a lot. He's gone. Marquise uh, Lee, injuries, tragic, but he costs money, buddy. You're gone. Jake Ryan, didn't even know you were on the squad. You're gone. Uh, Jeff uh, Swam, uh, Swam. Um, I really wish there were better. Honestly, tight end position might be something we do something about, but they do have Oliver that they drafted in the third round last year. He was kind of hurt, so maybe give him a shot. Chris Conley, you're gone. You cost money. I plan. I'm not going to lie. Jaguar fans, I plan on drafting the best available receiver first. So, spoiler alert. And then Jones is gone as well. That frees us up to 48 million. As far as people I re-sign, I re-sign nobody. Is what it is. Uh, so let's just go to the signings. Like I said, I want to focus on the secondary uh, a little bit, a little bit of the defense, because I think we're going to address offense a lot in the draft. So I signed Michael uh, Schofield uh, because um, he's been pretty solid over there for, I think it's the Chargers. So I think we could get a nice, reliable veteran and get him for cheap one year, three million because I can't really break the bank because of how little cap that these guys have. So I ended up grabbing Carl Joseph. I think we could get him cheap because he hasn't really been that he hasn't really been a stud for the Raiders, but I think they really don't use him to his strength. So we got him for two years, eight million. I grabbed Troy Hill, someone familiar with, like I said, defensive coordinator Wade Phillips. He's familiar with Wade Phillips. Wade Phillips uh, relied on him a ton to guard the number two receiver on the field there for the Rams. So two years, fourteen million, and then Javon Hargrave. I think he he's been stellar for. The Steelers. So getting him four years, forty-five million, to kind of be our uh, our kind of our zero tech, our nose tackle, so to speak, there on the uh, defensive line. So I think that I think that does a ton for the squad. Um, as far as like it, it helps. It just it helps with the because there's not a lot of holes on the Jaguars. It's just there's definitely room for a lot of upgrades outside of the secondary, of course. So, going into the draft, man, like I said, I went CD Lamb. I saw him, I was like, I'll take you. Now we got, he gives you a, a guy that's really good off the screens. I think he pairs very well with Chark. Um, 
because I don't know if Chark's a number one, true number one receiver, but I think he could be a darn good number two. So we also got Westbrook there in the slot. So you got all the weapons there. And then we go ahead and we grab Josh Jones. He was there. I was like, I don't really know. It was kind of tough where to go with that pick, but I was like, you know what? Cam Cam Robinson, I don't really know the future on him. And I don't know if I want to put J. Juan Taylor on the left side. So Josh Jones, honestly, I don't mind developing him for this year. Maybe him even coming in and eventually replacing Cam Robinson, but we're probably saying bye-bye to Cam Robinson after the 2020 season. Second uh, second round, Jalen Johnson's sitting there, and I was like, I'll take you. Bam, there's our there's our corner. There's our number one corner. I like I like that Jalen Johnson, Troy Hill. It already the secondary looks immensely better. Um, Zach Bond, I don't think he'll be available this late. He was in this draft, but he gives us an interesting guy to utilize on the defense. He wants to play linebacker, but being in a three four, he could also come off the edge. Uh, Troy Pride Jr. sitting there again. This the secondary is so weak for the Jaguars. Getting a guy with so much speed, and I think he'd be really good as a zone corner. But then again, after his senior bowl, maybe he, I think he could kind of play man as well. And then we grabbed uh, Tommy Kramer there because, I don't know, we might eventually have to bid fair due to Andrew Norwell because he's been kind of – he's he's been a bust as far as what the Jaguars paid for him. But Schofield, he's only there for a year anyway too, so – it gives us someone to develop. Jeremy Chin sitting there in the sixth round. Best believe I'm snagging that. Uh, Gabriel Davis. It's funny because it's such a good wide receiver class. It's weird to see which guys fall. So I don't mind getting some more depth because we did. the. I did get rid of a good amount of the receivers here by choosing not to re-sign some and get rid of Lee and Conley. So I don't mind uh, doing that. And then J.J. Taylor, I think gives them something different at running back because you got leonard fournette you got uh was a Raquel armstead who's still he's a bruiser but now we have someone in the passing game that is a that could be a great pass catcher out of the backfield so that's how the draft fell for me let's go ahead and take a look what the starting lineup looks like not much changes on offense outside of cd lamb didn't get that tight end i wanted but like i said hopefully josh oliver can be our big receiving tight end. I think O'Shaughnessy, who I spelled wrong, um, it, he he's a he's a good red zone threat. And he's just a good all around like quality all around tight end. And then on defense, man. So I think the defense looks much improved for the most part. Josh Allen gonna be our big edge, our big three four edge. Uh, Khalees Campbell going back on the line there with Taven Bryan. I didn't want to give up on him because he's actually been he's been good. He just hasn't seen the field a ton. Javon Hargrave is our nose. And then at linebacker, we do have Miles uh, Jack. We have Leon Jacobs. I would like to be the starter until we see more from uh, Zach Bond. And then um, at corner, I think we're much improved. Daniel Johnson, Troy Hill. We got Troy Pride Jr. as well. Uh, DJ Hayden was actually really good in the slot last year. We're gonna stick out. We're gonna stick it out with Gerard Wilson, and then Carl Joseph is still there. Ronnie Harrison was okay last year, so it gives us. I think we. I think there's a lot more building blocks now to keep this team good, especially if Gardner Minshew ends up being wonderful, and I really hope he does because I love Uncle Rico, but. That's it for the video. Go ahead to the YouTube thing. It's always much appreciated. Much obliged. And until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.